Good morning, everyone. This is Julie McDonald with Microcom Technologies, and I'd like to thank all of you for attending today's webinar with Sure Call. Today's host is Ginger Mundy. She is Microcom's new sales rep, and she'll be presenting today. If anyone has any questions, please submit them in the question box, and I'll ask them of Ginger at the end of today's presentation. Ginger, thank you so much for being with us today. We're looking forward to what you have to share. And I am finished for now. Please go ahead and take it on over. Thank you, Julie. And uh, thank you to everyone attending. I truly appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to learn a little bit more about SureCall. Uh, on, for today, what I'm going to be discussing with you guys, um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about SureCall. I'm going to go into a basic intro into how boosters work. My main focus is going to be on the mobile booster lineup, especially with summer travel being in full swing, and that's one of the biggest requests we're getting right now is on our mobile booster lineup. Then we'll follow it up with a Q&A. I did also add a quick little slide about 5G, because I know that's one of the biggest questions that I get right now on uh, boosters is, what about 5G? So we will discuss that a little bit as well. So to get started... Let's go over a little bit about SureCall. So SureCall has actually been in business since 2001. Our uh, main headquarters is based out of Fremont, California. When we first started off, it was uh, the main focus was rooted in the enterprise commercial business, so a lot of larger building applications. But we've since moved on into the consumer lineup as well. So we have a full spectrum of products available. Uh, we're uh, known for having a high-performing, high-quality product. Uh, that's one reason why we are able to offer a three-year warranty on our full product line. We have multiple patents, patents pending. Um, we've won multiple awards for our products, like one of the recent ones, for example, is our Residen Residential Systems Award for 2021. So let's go into why SureCall. Um, one of the big reasons for why SureCall and what sets us apart is our boosters have SureCall's proprietary SureIQ. Okay, so that's great. So what is SureIQ? <laughs> when a signal outside is too strong, it can shut a booster down prematurely. So with a Sure IQ, it will allow the booster to deliver an amplification even in the most challenging environments, and it does not shut down. So it also has included with that the auto adjusting gain, which is allows it to disperse the signal uh, needed for whatever the environment it is located in. All of our products are FCC and IC and carrier approved. We have uh, five band cell phone cellular boosters. We were one of the first companies, we were, were actually the first to announce our 5G booster, uh, which includes T-Mobile's 600 megahertz frequency, and most of our products are assembled in the US. Okay, so here's my quick little slide that I added about 5G, because I know a lot of people ask, what about 5G coverage? So SureCall actually does boost 5G in some circumstances. Uh, so when what, what circumstances are those? Well, that's when DSS is in play. Okay, so what is DSS? DSS is dynamic spectrum sharing. Uh, with DSS, um, basically, uh, it allows the spectrum bands from different uh, radio technologies to be utilized. So, for example, um, there are areas where carriers are using the existing frequencies for their 5G, which is considered dynamic spectrum sharing. SureCall does support all 4G and 5G devices. Um, as I mentioned, we were the first to market with, a, uh, with our Force 8, which includes T-Mobile on the 600 megahertz band. Um, it is an industrial-only booster currently. And also, not too long ago, Verizon did announce that SureCall is one of the few companies providing them with boosters for millimeter wave, which is the upper frequencies. 
there are currently not consumer boosters on the millimeter wave, and we probably won't see anything for a long time because that's something that the FCC has not yet approved. So the upper band um, consumer boosters do not cover, but where the uh, carriers are using the existing frequencies, the boosters, the existing, the current booster lineup will cover those. Okay, so why is a cell phone booster needed? Well, for every day to prevent to drop uh, to prevent drop calls, uh, we also increase data speeds for the use with internet or emails. Um, rural residents who don't have access to high speed internet and they rely specifically on their cellular frequency uh, to exp extend fringe areas on a cellular network. We also provide a reliable, reliable means of communication uh, for people who rely on their phones, which is most everybody these days for communication, and to com combat weak cellular service. So next up, we'll go through what the causes of weak cellular signal are. Uh, we have distance from the tower. Of course, the further you are from the tower, the weaker the signal is going to be. The terrain, so many different factors in terrain can affect your cell signal. For example, if you're up in the mountains, if you're on a flat road, you're going to get a, you, know, you can get up further. Um, trees, being surrounded by trees and lots of leaves can actually hinder your cell signal. Another is building materials. Building, various building materials can affect uh, your cell signal. For example, a metal roof, the metal of a vehicle. Um, ener energy efficient materials, so like the low E glass, uh, will block the signal. Uh, heavy tinting on a vehicle will block the signal. So there are a lot of different factors, of course, that are going to cause a weak cell signal. So next up, we'll go with how do boosters work? So basically, you have your cell tower. Uh, the closer you are to the tower, the stronger your signal is going to be. Uh, if you have no booster, of course, the signal is going to have a hard time penetrating through the, the materials of the home or residence or building, whatever the case may be. So with a booster, of course, you have the antenna on the outside. So how they work is you have your antenna on the outside that take the signal to the booster, amplify it, and bring it on the inside. So you have your outside antenna, which is going to communicate with the tower, run through the coax, goes down into the booster where it's amplified, and then goes to the inside antenna where the inside antenna then communicates with your cellular devices, be it your mobile phone or your hotspot or whatever the case may be. So with vehicle boosters, it's pretty much the same concept. Um, you have, well, however, the the closer you are to the cell tower, the, the more signal you're going to bring into your booster. Um, so you still have your antenna on the outside of the vehicle, run down into your booster, and then you have another antenna on the inside to disperse the signal within. So which product is right for your customer? There are many key vertical markets, and this is just a sampling. Uh, you have Truck drivers, travelers, fleet managers, Uber drivers, police, fire. Um, another one is like real estate. Uh, pretty much anybody that relies on their cell phone, even families when they're traveling, for example, if an emergency pops up and they're out in the middle of nowhere, they want to be able to reach out on their cell phone. And a lot of times without a booster, they're not going to be able to make that contact. So it also helps keep families safe. So with that, I'm actually going to go through the product lineup, starting with our most basic, basic booster, and I'm going to move on up to our highest performing kit. So with that, I'm going to start with the end range. The end range is a, a sing, single user booster. It retails at $199.99. The N range is one of our is our most powerful single user device, and by single user I mean it only is going to work with one single device. So with that, it's going to still help you reduce drop calls, quick and easy three-step installation. You have your antenna on the outside of the vehicle, 
run down into the booster, plugged into the power, and then you have your antenna, your phone or device in the cradle. Uh, so you have to have your phone in the cradle in order to get amplification. Once you remove the phone, the, you will no longer have the amplification. Uh, this is, uh, booster is also equipped with our extended range technology. And so with that, what the heck is extended range technology? So call, we call it ERT. ERT basically is going to enable users to remain connected throughout more remote areas on the road. It provides a stronger and faster connectivity than non-ERT solutions, and it also minimizes line loss, um, allowing for a higher quality signal to go to your device. And how that does that is through the external antenna. That shark fin antenna basically is, has lower bands of the booster built into it, so it allows for a cleaner signal to go through to the booster. Next, we have our Fusion to Go 3.0, which are, is our standard mobile booster. It retails at $399. Now, with the Fusion to Go 3.0, it supports simultaneous, multiple simultaneous users, so you can use more than one device at a time. So if you have your uh, cell phone and a data card, you can use both at the same time. You have a passenger, they have their cell phone. It does multiple, multiple devices, multiple carriers at the same time. So it, it is one of our more powerful vehicle boosters. It is compatible with all cellular, cellular devices, um, 5G phones as well. Uh, it has 2XP technology. Uh, so, okay, here there's another one. What is 2XP technology? <laughs> 2XP technology is two times the power Basically, with uh, 2XP technology, it's going to double the uplink transmission power back to the cell tower. So it helps maintain a connection even in the most rural and remote signal environments. All of our products, all of our mobile products are also assembled and tested in the USA as well. So we'll go on to the next one. Next, we have our Fusion to Go 3.0 fleet. The fleet retailed at $439.99. And the fleet is very similar to the Fusion to Go 3.0. Multiple, multiple users at one time, uh, powerful vehicle booster. What's the biggest difference between the Fusion to Go fleet and the Fusion to Go 3.0? Well, the Fusion to Go fleet is, was designed specifically with fleets in mind because a lot of fleets want a permanent mount antenna and they also want to be able to hardwire the kit into the system. So the fleet kit has both of those. It has an NMO, which is non-magnetic option, or a permanent mount antenna. Um, it also has the hardwire kit as opposed to a DC power supply. So it actually is still one of a very powerful booster, um, compatible with all cellular devices, including hotspots. Uh, it's 5G compatible as well. It also has the 2XP power and assembled in the USA. Next, we have our Fusion to Go Max. The Fusion to Go Max is our, actually, is our most, most powerful booster. It retails at $499.99. What makes a Max different? It, of course, also supports multiple users, multiple carriers at one time. Uh, it's our most powerful vehicle booster. It is compatible with all cellular devices. So what makes the Max the most powerful? It has both the ERT, the extended range technology, and the 2XP technology built into it. So when you're out in those remote areas, uh, you can get out further. It has the shark fin antenna, with ha which has the lower bands of the booster built into it. So that helps cut out the line loss for cleaner quality signal on the lower bands, which is heavily used out in those remote areas. Because the higher band on, on cellular, the higher the band, 
the less it's going to cover, the less area it'll cover. So out in those remote areas where the towers can get out a lot further, they'll use lower bands because the lower bands propagate further than the upper bands do. So we built in the lower bands so you can actually get out to more remote areas and hang on to that signal even longer. Next, we have our Fusion to Go 3.0 RV kit, which is really popular right now because it seems most people are traveling with after the pandemic. They want to travel the country, but they're doing it on the road. <laughs> so with the Fusion to Go 3.0 RV, it's also going to boost your weak or boost a weak signal from multiple devices in the RV. Uh, Great for RVs, RVs and campers. It's ideal for cross-country travel. So what, what actually makes the, the difference between the RV and the other kits? Well, the RV, one, it comes with both the options for a vehicle as well as the RV. So with that, it has an Omni antenna on the outside, which is a fiberglass antenna, because of course most RVs are not made of metal and magnetic type antennas do need to be on metal in order to work properly. They need that grounding. So it has a fiberglass antenna for the outside and it also has the whip antenna on the booster itself. But you're able to unscrew that whip, unscrew the external antenna and utilize the magnet mount and the little uh, paddle antenna that come with the standard mobile kit. So you can leave the antennas not only on your car or truck, but you can leave antennas on the RV and you can actually just move the booster from one vehicle to the other if you prefer. So it gives you multiple options. This is probably one of our uh, most versatile boosters that we have. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so what exactly are, who are the, the boosters best for? What what's, Which boosters are best for what market, should I say? <clears throat> for cars and trucks, generally we recommend going with the N-Range 2.0, the Fusion to Go 3.0, or the Fusion to Go Max. If you have somebody that's traveling out in really remote areas, I recommend going with the Fusion to Go Max. What, as far as the fleet vehicles go, semi-trucks, public safety, uh, search and rescue, things like that, um, you can go with the Fusion to Go 3.0, the Fusion to Go Max, or the Fusion to Go Fleet. The fleet kit is good for companies that have large fleets, um, pretty much anybody that, any group that wants, uh, like I said, a permanent mount antenna. So... <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> All right, and then we have, <laughs> sorry, pardon me. We have our, our commercial our commercial RV, we have our Fusion to Go RV, um, or our fleet kit. Fleet kit, again, I wouldn't recommend fleets for RVs just because it, fleet also, the permanent mount antenna, you want on metal. Okay. So no matter what, uh, if you're on the go, need coverage in your home or office building, SureCall is going to have you covered. We're here to help. We want to make sure that you stay connected. Here's my contact information, various contact information. If you have questions about uh, anything regarding uh, support issues, you have a booster, you're not sure if it's connecting, anything like that, you can reach out to our tech department. If you have general inquiries, you can also email sales at surecall.com. But anything at all, if you're not sure, any kind of questions you have, reach out to me. Um, you have my email address here. I'm definitely here to help you. That's my direct line. Uh, anytime, I'm usually uh, available Monday through Friday, eight to five, uh, Mountain Standard Time. I'm actually in Utah, in Southern Utah. So please feel free to reach out to me and I'd be happy to help you. That pretty much concludes my, my webinar. And so Julie, I'm finished and I will hand it back to you. Thank you so much, Ginger, for that wonderful presentation. And yes, I do have some questions here. Let's go ahead and get started with the first one. 
first question here, are all of your previous models, um, can they be upgraded to a 5G antenna? Well, I mean, you can add a 5G antenna. Uh, it's not necessarily going to give you any specific benefits because we're still covering the same frequencies um, currently. So, and for example, if you have a, an older fusion to go, um, it's still going to cover the same frequencies. Going up to a, a higher gain antenna um, isn't necessarily going to be beneficial because millimeter wave, like the upper band portions that it's going to cover, once if we get to a point, that's going to be a completely different type of booster. Um, but it is possible, yes. They use all the same connections. We do have 5G antennas available for various buildings. Um, as far as mobile boosters, we don't have anything specifically for 5G, um, except for what's being run through the existing frequencies right now. Thank you, Ginger. Next question here for you. Um, regarding the ERT, can you tell us how it is powered? Uh, the ERT basically is power over coax. So it's the, the booster itself is built into the external antenna as well as there's a, the booster box on the in, internal inside. So the power goes through the coax from the external antenna into the booster. And that's part of how it cuts down some of the line loss. But it also has the standard DC power supply for the, the booster on the inside. Thank you for that, Ginger. Next question here for you. For the N range, does it come with a power adapter? If so, um, how can it be powered so that it works? Well, the N range comes with the, the DC power supply as well. Uh, so you just plug it into the cigarette lighter charger. You don't need a special power for the external antenna. Again, it's, that has the uh, power over coax for the external antenna itself for the shark fin. Thank you for that, Ginger. Next question here for you. Uh, regarding Fusion to Go, um, can it support multiple users or and or does it have a limit or a range that um, it can support a certain number of users, a maximum number? Can you tell us about that? Yeah, as far as the Fusion to Go 3.0, usually it's uh, three to four users because it's designed for the inside of a vehicle. Um, it, it, a lot's going to also depend on how strong the signal is outside, but there is definitely a limit. Um, if you're getting into more users than you know, you're probably inside of a, a building or something that you want a, a higher gain booster for. So yeah, it, it has a limit about, I'd say up to four users. Thank you for that, Ginger. Couple more questions. Next one here is, um, do the mounts uh, come with the Fusion to Go 3.0 RV? It, well, it, it comes with a U-bolt, uh, so yes, it does come with a mount. Great, thank you. Um, next question here, does the RV model handle more users than the Fusion to go? Well, when you're switching out, the, when you have the uh, uh, fiberglass antenna, because it's a higher gain antenna than the magnet mount, and the whip antenna on the inside, you probably can increase the users. Again, it's gonna depend on how strong the signal is outside to begin with as well. But in an average signal circumstance, you could probably use about six users. Excellent, thank you. Um, thank you so much for all of your contact information. Um, if one wants to find information online, could we do mm -hmm. that? Definitely, you can go to surecall.com. Uh, we have all of our info on there. Um, if there's anything you can't find that you're specifically looking for, please reach out to me and, and I'll find it for you.
Great, thank you so much. Um, does uh, your, does your products work with all the major carriers like uh, Verizon and AT and T? And if so, um, can you tell us about the major the major carriers? Yes, they do work with all the major carriers. Uh, the boosters can work with multiple carriers simultaneously as well. Uh, the only uh, limitations, like I said, is when it comes to the upper bands of 5G, uh, which their FCC doesn't allow consumer boosters on those frequencies at this time. So that's probably our only, only limitation. Otherwise, we cover all carriers, um, all carriers in the U.S. All, uh, we cover Canada. We also cover Latin America. Um, we do not cover the European frequencies at this time. Thank you so much. It's good to know you can get in your RV and just drive anywhere and sure call can help. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And and everybody's out traveling at this time of year. And I, I'm seeing more and more RVs, especially being here in southern Utah where, you know, we're surrounded by Zion and everything else. We see a lot of it through here. So. <laughs> oh, great. Hopefully they're all using sure called mobile booster so we get so they can get around and never and never drop their signal. Thank you so much. Last question here for you. <laughs> okay. Um, can you tell us about sure calls warranty and maybe the different uh, ver uh, versions that someone can buy and how would we activate a warranty if we needed to? Well, the warranty there is a three year warranty in our full product line. So they don't necessarily need to purchase or activate anything to, to take advantage of that. Um, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you have any issues, you know, hopefully you'll be able to take care of it for them. And uh, again, with the, the three-year warranty, if, if somebody has any problems, anybody can reach out to our support department. They're going to walk them through it. Uh, they want to make sure that it's not something in the setup, because a lot of times that's the case. There's just something that somebody misses. Um, I know I do it all the time, uh, you know, where you may not have something connected right or a ten antenna pointed in the wrong direction or whatever the case may be. But they're going to walk you through it and make sure that everything's either working properly or if there is an issue, then they'll do the, they'll exchange it out for the, the customer. Excellent. That is so good to know. Thank you, Ginger. And thank you for letting us know that your products are manufactured and assembled here in the U.S. because a lot of times people like to know where, you know, where your products are mm -hmm. produced and, and that sort of thing. And we know uh, a lot of uh, cellular items or products are introduced, are, you know, manufactured all over the world. So thank you for that. Yeah, no problem. Okay, thank you so much, Ginger, for answering all of those questions for us this morning. And thank you to everyone for attending today's webinar. And if anyone has any further questions, please feel free to contact your sales rep or email us at sales at microcomtech.com. And if you wish to view any of the products mentioned or shown today, please visit us at www.microcom.us. And remember, this webinar presentation has been recorded and will be uploaded to our YouTube channel so you can view it again. Ginger, thank you so much for your time and all of your valuable information today. Everybody have the rest of your day. I hope the rest of your day is a fantastic one. Thank you so much. Thank you, Julie. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye now. Bye.